uh, in the last video i have talked about the uh, basis of classification in the animal kingdom chapter so in this video means uh, in uh, in this video we will discuss about the different phyla and uh, i have already told about that in your ncrt it have given how many uh, phylum so it have given the 11 different phylum so it have given 11 different phylum so if we we'll read one by one so first is the phylum porifera second is the uh, cylindrata third is the dinophora fourth is the uh, platyhelminthes fifth is the escalminthes sixth is the annelida then mollusca then arthropoda echinodermata hemichordata and chordata so we will discuss one by one phylum and their specific characteristics and their example clear so before i am going to discussing one phy uh, phylum so i saw your uh, uh, views and comments uh, i got one comments from one student so he he was telling sir try to give the lecture in uh, hindi uh, because he, uh, he are unable to understand the hindi uh, sorry uh, understandable understand to the english and one thing they have also told me sir you are not uh, going to fluently in english so uh, so first thing so i am not from the uh, uh, south i am working in the south india but i am writing from the north india so it means uh, we uh, we are trying to give the lecture for both i am trying to convey for both south indian as well as north indian so due to this i am unable to give i am unable to deliver the lecture in only hindi Okay, so due to this, I am delivering only the English because so this lecture also running in my institution. So I am working in the Excel Academy Private Limited, Tuticorin, Tamil Nadu. So Tamil people they use their language, so they use their uh, local language, and you know very well. So they have the very conjure for their language and culture. So due to this, uh, I am trying to give. Uh, I will try. Uh, I will give only uh, lecture in English and uh, this is the necessary so okay and thank you for your comments i like that comments okay uh, if uh, anything i will improve okay so next come on the topic so here they have given the uh, one point if you read so notochord if you read one point so it have given about the notochord so notochord is the mesodermally derived rod like structure so what means of the mesoderm so you know very well so during the embryonic development so during the embryonic developments in our bodies this form the three different types of the germ layer ectoderm mesoderm as well as endoderm so it form how many types of germ layer three different types of the germ layer <coughs> ectoderm ectoderm mesoderm as well as endoderm ectoderm always form ectoderm always form brain mesoderm always form mesoderm always form bone and endoderm endoderm forms always gastrovascular system clear gastric system or gastrovascular system it means ectoderm form brain mesoderm form bone and uh, endoderm form the gastro gastric vascular system so it means digestive system so digestive tract or digestive system so one thing here they have given the mesodermally if you read this sentence notochord notochord is a mesodermally derived rod like structure formed on the dorsal side it means it explaining in this sentence explaining notochord and notochord you know this is the chordate character this is the chordate character clear so chordata if you see here this uh, this so this uh, sentence uh, this word chordata so chordata what is explaining so chordata explaining is the notochord so chordata have the notochord and notochord which forms further vertebra, uh, vertebra and vertebra forms the backbone vertebra forms the backbone so i am saying backbone backbone means their origin their origin is the mesodermal clear so their origin is the mesodermal so here they have given the mesoderms form the bone ectoderm forms the brain uh, ectoderms form the neural system means brain and other neurons okay and endoderms form the digestive tract it forms the digestive tract so here and uh, where it located this notochord located on the dorsal side you know ventral side dorsal side ventral side abdomen dorsal side back so back for back of the backbone clear so now i am going to discuss first phylum that is the phylum porifera we'll discuss one by one and i am going to now uh, now i am going to discuss the first phylum and the first phylum is name as the porifera so why uh, why we are saying porifera because their body bears the small minute pores their body bears the small minute pores so due to this pori means pores and feron means bear so those living uh, those animals which bears the pore inside your body so that is called in, inside the body they have the 
pores that is called poriferans and if you'll check so they have the <clears throat> they are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals they are they are generally marine it means they have the marine marine in nature and mostly asymmetric i have a study in the previous episode in the previous episode of animal kingdom i had already talked about this i had already talked about this ms asymmetry asymmetry found in the sponge sponges except two except two that is the leucosalenia as well as cycon so leucosalenia as well as cycon so these are considered as a exception of this phylum pori uh, phylum porifera means they have not asymmetry clear so uh, cycon and leucosalenia they are not show <coughs> a type of asymmetry okay so one thing if you we'll read the sentence next sentence sponges sponges have a water transport or canal system means what you will say water transport or canal system sometimes students students got confused between the water vascular system and water canal system if they have uh, in the given exam so sometimes they take uh, to uh, they understood the water canal system and water vascular system or water transport system both are the same but you should to know you should to know water vascular system found in the echinodermata and water transport system or water canal system it is found in the poriferans clear <clears throat> so these water canal system they have the three components it have how many components it have the three component first component is known as the ostea ostea is the small small minute pore ostea is the small minute pore by which water enters inside the body by which water enter inside the body so this is called the ostea and second they have the one uh, one cavity one they have the cavity which is known as the spongocele they have the one cavity which is known as the spongocele and in the spongocele water run in the spongocele water runs and these spongocele internally these spongocele internally lined by internally lined by a special type of cells which is known as the coenocyte which is known as the coenocyte or collar cells they are lined by the special type of cells coenocytes or collar cells and it helps in the current uh, they helps in the what uh, current of means flow of the water clear it helps in the flow of the water in particular direction clear third thing third components they have given the osculum osculum this is the osculum this is the osculum is a pore by which water goes outside the body by which water goes outside the body so this thing if you read this sentence so here they have given if you read this sentence so uh, what they have given so water enters through the minute pore that is called as tear and in the body into a central cavity this central cavity is known as the spongocele and water goes outside the body through the osculum clear so this uh, explaining about the characteristics of the characteristics of the phylum phylum porifera porifera also known as the sponges porifera poriferon also considered as a sponge clear if you read the next sentence so next sentence what they have given it have given this is the pathway this is the pathway of water transport this is the pathway of water transport why they need the water because water they have the some minute uh, microorganism some microorganism some minerals some nutrition as well as oxygen it also have the oxygen so what is the function of water transport system or water canal system first it helps in the food gathering first involves in the food gathering second is the respiratory exchange and third is the removal of the waste third is the removal of the waste if you will see here food gathering because what water consists of the number of small microorganism as well as minerals and food from minerals mineral substances so respiratory respiratory exchange because water formula h2o they are ready oxygen molecules they are ready oxygen molecules so there is the gaseous exchange also takes place by diffusion one thing also removal of waste is you know this is the aquatic animal and uh, we have already studied and i have already talked about the uh, ex uh, excretory that means excretory and eliminatory products uh, their chap uh, that chapter uh, in that particular chapter we have already discussed about the different types of the excretory product so excret on the basis of the excretory products so animal also divided into uricotelic ureotelic and guanotelic and uh, ammonotelic so here this animal living inside the water and on the basis of solubility if you will check the solubility so maximum solubility found uh, found is the ammonia so ammonia maximum soluble then urea then uric acid then guanine clear 
first maximum solubility ammonia second level <coughs> urea third is the uric acid <coughs> and fourth is the guanine so it means here removal of the waste substances in which uh, excretory product in the form of ammonia in the form of ammonia because ammonia is the highly water soluble okay next next i had already told in the uh, that figure coenocytes or collar cells coenocytes or collar cells here you can see the figure here they have given the figure coenocytes or the collar cells uh, why we call collar cell this have given so here why we are why are saying collar collar cells they have given this figure so collar cells they have the collar like structure and these coenocytes are pro provided with the flagella so here they have the flagella and these flagella helps in the uh, current of the water it means particular direction particular direction of the current uh, water current run clear and these coenocytes attach with a special type of cells which is known as the amebocyte clear so here they have again the spongocele and the canals and next next point if you will read the next point so what they have given next point the body is supported by the body is supported by a skeleton made up of the spicules what is the skeleton this skeleton is known as the exoskeleton this known skeleton is known as the exoskeleton in our body we also know our body also have the exoskeleton and this exoskeleton is like hair small small hair which is found on the body surface that is the uh, uh, this uh, hair is called the exoskeleton in case of the human but here i am discussing about the poriferans poriferans they have also the exoskeleton and this is exoskeleton made up of the it made up of the spicules are spongy spongy fiber it generally made up of the spicules are spongy fiber clear so this have given about the detail uh, description of the phylum a uh, phylum porifera so if you will check the example so here they have the number of example so it have given example so they have the number of example so first example cycon first example cycon that is also known as the cycon uh, scypha next i have given the spongilla spongilla also called the fresh water sponge and next i have given the u spongia u spongia also called the bath sponge u spongia also called the bath sponge okay so if you will check the figure so if you will check the figure so they have given the number of figure leucosolenia spongia here they also leucosolenia then cycon and euplectella euplectella so it means if you will check so one by one they have given the example of the poriferan so they have given the example of poriferan so now you will see now you will check how you will learn because they have given the number of example so i have given some short trick and uh, with the help of this trick you can easily learn because in the biology they have given the number of uh, number of the uh, number of the name and uh, this is not very easy so you can learn so if you have the some trick or some ideas uh, so with the help of then you can learn so first uh, if you read the first sentence short trick so what they have given they have given the senior software engineer senior software engineer fresh water bath fresh water bath means this is the senior software engineer it is going to bath and they will bath with the fresh water they will bath with the fresh water so how you like correlate so senior senior stands for cycon software so software it stands for spongilla software sponge software is stands for spongilla fresh water fresh water sponge fresh water fresh water sponge engineer u spongia and bath bath means bath sponge bath means bath sponge so these have given the formula by which you can uh, learn very sharply okay so next phylum i am going to discuss next phylum and next phylum what they have given so it have given the next phylum that is the cylindrata so cylindrata so if you will check the cylindrata cylindrata means cylindron cylindrata means you can say cylindron what they have they have the cylindron cylindron means gastrovascular cavity so they have the inside the body which is uh, uh, called which is also known as the gastrovascular cavity so it is known as the gastrovascular cavity and they are the aquatic these are the aquatic mostly marine these are the aquatic mostly marine except hydra you should to know hydra is the fresh water animal hydra is the fresh water animal clear and sessile sessile free swimming radially symmetrical animals radially symmetrical i had already uh, in the previous episode i had already talked about this 
so uh, radially symmetrical symmetrical so cce cce continuous comprehensive evolution cylindrata tinophora echinoderm echinodermata adult so these show the they generally show which type of symmetry they show the radial type of symmetry they show the radial type of symmetry so this is the cylindrata so cylindrata show radial types of the symmetry clear so next thing if we'll stick there if we'll check so they have given the cnidaria cnidaria why cylindrata also known as the cnidarians cylindrata also known as the cnidarians why we call cnidarians because they have the cnidoblast cell they have the cnidoblast cell clear and these cnidoblast cell they are provided with the stinging capsule or nematocytes they are provided with the stinging capsule or nematocytes and they have tentacles and what is the function of these cnidoblast so these cnidoblast helps to capture the prey uh, it helps to the capture of the prey and defense and anchorage so it uh, uh, cnidoblast cell that means cnidarians they have the tentacles tentacles perform three different function anchorage defense and capture of the prey capture of the prey so this function was performed by this uh, cnidoblast cell one thing also i have given cnidarians exhibit tissue level organization in uh, last episode i have already discussed different level of organization protoplasmic organization where found it found in the protozoa cellular level organization where found cellular level organization found in the uh, porifera then tissue level organization here they are given the tissue level organization and tissue level organization found in the cylindrata and diploblastic animal diploblastic animal means i had already talked about that so in case of the during embryonic development we have the three different types of the germ layer inside our body we have the three different types of the germ layer ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm but in case of the cylindrata they have only two layers ectoderm and endoderm at the place of uh, mesoderm they have the undifferentiated mass of mesoglia they have undifferentiated mass of the mesoglia so due to this this is considered as a diploblastic animals so uh, one thing i already why we, why they call the cylindron because they have the central gastrovascular cavity they have the central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening they have the single opening means which type of the digestive system they have the incomplete digestive system this perform both uh, anus as well as a mouth so here they have in the with a single opening mouth and this mouth is known as the hypostome this mouth is known as the hypostome clear some of cnidarians some of cnidarians they form the coral reef coral reef you know very well so these coral reef have the greatest biodiversity these have the greatest biodiversity and largest coral coral reef found in the australia and the name of coral reef is the great barrier great barrier coral reef we are found it found in the australia clear and they have the skeleton they have the skeleton which is made up of the calcium carbonate they have the skeleton which is composed of the which is composed of the calcium carbonates clear so here they have in the uh, uh, skeleton which is composed of the calcium carbonate and one thing if we'll stick uh, calcium carbonate calcium carbonate also known as the limestone co co caco3 limestone calcium uh, calcium oxide slaked lime and calcium hydroxide that is the lime water clear so this is the chemistry point so you should to know you have to learn this thing okay next it up in the cnidarian cnidarian exhibit two basic body forms they have the two different types of the body forms and in the plant kingdom the heteromorphic alternation of generation plant life cycle that time i had talked about this so uh, this uh, phylum this phylum show which type of phenomenon they show the metagenesis or alternation of generation so this show metagenesis or alternation of generation clear so they have the two different basic body forms one is called the polyp another is the medusa one is called the polyp another is the medusa so sometimes may be sessile sometimes may be free swimming clear so it have the two different types of the basic body forms polyp and medusa so the former polyp polyp i will check the polyp sessile sessile means sedentary sedentary means they have attached with the substratum so some time polyp polyp attached with the substratum and cylindrical form and where it found it it found in the hydra and adamsia so hydra and adamsia polyp is the sessile in case of the arilia arita in case of the arilia arita so there is the umbrella shaped umbrella shaped they have the umbrella shaped free swimming so sometimes in case of the umbrella shaped 
so they may be free swimming clear so these are the umbrella shaped and this is the free swimming it is found in the arelia arita or jellyfish one thing also they have not uh, i have not mentioned in this slide so statocyst 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 is a balancing organ statocyst is a balancing organ they are filled with the statolith they are filled with the otolith or statolith and these act as a balancing organ which is also found in the arelia arita clear this is also found in the arelia arita so they may, they may be asked so what is the statocyst statocyst is a balancing organ okay so cnidarians cnidarian exhibit both forms i had already talked so alternation of generation this phenomenon also known as the metagenesis so sometimes poly poly sometimes poly produce the medusae poly produce the medusae via asexually pm pma means poly when poly form the medusa asexually and when medusa mps when medusa forms the polys uh, sorry when medusa form the poly that is called the sexual reproduction mps m then p m p s it means you can say when the medusa forms polyp during this uh, this uh, forms through the sexual reproduction and when polyp form the medusa via the asexually clear so this have explaining and where it found it is found in the obelia and obelia belongs from which class so obelia belongs from the obelia belongs from the hydrozoa class okay so if you'll see here uh, they have also one point example so they have also given some example adamsia sea animal phyzelia portugues men of war penatula sea pen gargonia sea fern meandrina brain coral so these are the example and uh, which you will learn so how you learn i i i will provide some short trick so here you can say uh, before a uh, short trick i will discuss some another property of this phylum cylindrates clear so here you can say dimorphism so dimorphism also characteristics property of the cylindrata this is also known as the polymorphism why we called polymorphism because they form the two different types of the structure one is the polyp another is the sorry one is the polyp another is the medusa polyp is the sessile medusa is the mobile means free swimming and it is the sessile means they are attached with the substratum or sedentary clear so these have given nidary exhibits the polymorphism meaning they have the diff two different types of the body plants clear one is the sedentary or sessile that is the polyps and another is the mobile type fluids free swimming that is called the medusa and here they have given the example physelia pelagica portugues man of war sea sea fan gorgonia brain coral meandrina and here they have given the sea anemone so these have given the number of example about the phylum cylindrates so about the phylum cylindrates coral reef i had i had already talked about this so coral reefs have the greatest diversity coral reefs have the greatest diversity if you read so this sentence they have given coral reefs have the greatest biodiversity in marine ecosystem on planet in marine ecosystem they have the coral reef greatest biodiversity on the uh, in the planet clear made up of a thousand animals called polyps so they have the number of polyps and found in the 10 national park if we'll check their internal body structure so this is the structure of hydra they have the mouth tentacles tentacles they act the tentacles provided with the cnidoblast which helps in the uh, capturing to prey defense and gastrovascular cavity that is cylindron mesoglia diploblastic nerve net if we'll check if they may be asking your neat examination so those animals which they have started uh, previous type of the nerve system so nerve system is started from here hydra so they have the nerve net actual not neuron cells they have the only net like structure of neuron so due to this it is called the nerve net and if you we'll see here that is the structure here they have given the different structure of the internal so epidermis mesoglia gastrodermis gastrovascular cavity okay so these thing uh, here uh, we have discussed about the example and uh, uh, example uh, i had uh, you will learn so how you will learn so this is the very big task to you so how you learn uh, and i have provided some short trick i had provided some short trick so by which this trick uh, you can learn very easy so one important thing this is the appa appa use this term used in the tamil so appa means father in case of the uh, north indian so they use the term papa and other things so here use the term appa appa that means father in tamil words father 
so uh, here appa appa good morning appa appa came and he is saying good morning appa came and he is saying good morning and they are asking appa asking any one man have pen fan or brain any one man have the pen fan or brain so it means appa came and appa what is asking appa asking any people they have the pen fan or brain so then uh, you should to know this is the short trick and how you will correlate so you can correlate easily a stands for adamsia p stands for physelia and p stands for penatula p stands for penatula good means gargonia good stands for gargonia morning means meandrina morning means meandrina then uh, then if you will check any one man have pen fan brain so it means here you can say any one any mon see any mon clear man man means that is the portuguese man of war so physelia also known as the portuguese man of war so pen pen means c pen so c pen here they have given c pen that is the penatula penatula also known as the c pen then gargonia gargonia so that means fan fan c fan c fan gargonia also known as the c fan gargonia also known as the c fan then brain coral that is the meandrina brain coral meandrina so this is the trick uh, by which you can learn uh, sharply and uh, i think you are uh, you are getting very uh, good way and uh, uh, now i am going to discuss next phylum and next phylum that is the tinophora if we'll compare between the phylum tinophora and cylindrata so tinophora tinophora have the 90% similarity 90 to 95% similarity with the cylindrate so and in your neat examination only one time they have asked only one time they have asked the example nothing correct they are not uh, they have not asked about the characteristics or other things it have asked only one time example and uh, he didn't uh, means uh, that means they have not asked any question from this phylum but we will discuss if they have given so we will discuss about them clear so phylum tinophora they have given the tinophora tinophores commonly known as the sea walnuts sea walnuts or comb sea walnuts or comb jelly so this is known as the sea walnuts or comb jelly and this is the exclusively marine i had already told it is have the similarity to cylindrate cylindrate is exclusively marine except hydra radial asymmetry so they have also radial asymmetry diploblastic like cylindrate tissue level like cylindrate organization clear so next point next point the body the body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates so here you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 it means they have the eight eight different types of the ciliated comb plates and what is the function of ciliated comb plates so these ciliated comb plates involves in the locomotion phenomenon so locomotion phenomenon here they have given the bioluminescence bioluminescence is the property and what is the property the property emit to light the property of organism emit to light this is called the bioluminescence phenomenon and it is well marked it is well marked in the tinophore so this is the big characteristics this is the big characteristics of the tinophores and you have you know very well about the photina spiralis that is the firefly firefly also produce the fluorescent phenomenon they also produce the light with the help of fluorescence phenomenon so they have some protein which involves in the oxidation take place and after that they will produce the fluorescent phenomenon and fluorescent phosphorescence you have uh, you have already studied in the chemistry fluorescence phosphorescence that is the spectroscopy phenomenon clear so next thing if we'll check the other property of so sexes sexes are separated so tinophores so tinophores they have the separate sexes it means you can say sorry sexes are not separated no means don't monoecious condition they have the monoecious or hermaphrodite condition they have the monoecious or hermaphrodite condition reproduction takes place reproduction takes place only by sexual means reproduction takes place only by the sexual means and fertilization is external and direct development is the indirect indirect means they have the larval stage they have the larval stage example pleurobranchia and tinoplana so pleurobranchia and tinoplana so here they have given the example tinophora that is known as the pleurobranchia so tino tinophora that is also known as the uh, uh, it means you can say pleuro uh, pleurobranchia okay so next phylum we will discuss about the platy helminthes so next phylum they have given about the platy helminthes platy helminthes why we called why we called platy helminthes 
flat worm platyel means is also known as the flat worm and why we call flat worm because their body is the dorso ventrally flattened Platy, uh, platy element is they have the body and their body is the dorsal ventrally flattened. So due to this, it is also known as flat worm. Clear? So this is also called as the flat worm. So these are the endoparasite, endoparasitic in nature. If you see, so here most of them they are the endoparasitic in nature and found in in animals including human beings. Some are also they cause the different diseases in case of the human beings. Flat worms are bilaterally symmetrical. So uh, I had already told this thing. Triploblastic. Triploblastic means they these have the three germ layer: endoderm, ectoderm, and mesoderm. Acylomate. Acylomate means no silom because this is the parasite, so it can be it can be get nourishment from the host. It can be get nourishment from the host. Clear? So here uh, one thing. Uh, this is the example. If you read the example, so fasciola hepatica. They have given the fasciola hepatica. This is also known as the sheep liver flu. And this is the normal definite host. This is the normal definite host. In places where are not raised can be found in cattle. If if they are not found, if the sheep is not found, so it can be live inside the body of cattle. Inside the body of cattle. And human can human can also become infected. Human can also become infected. So this is the digenetic parasitic. This are this is the digenetic parasitic animal. What means of the digenetic parasitic animal? So you can say this uh, those animals which their life cycle completed into two different hosts. So due to this, it is also known as the digenetic parasitic animal. Clear? So next point, next point, we'll read. So they have the they are provided with the hooks and sucker. They are provided with the hooks and sucker, and they are present in the parasitic form. They are present in the parasitic form. And one uh, very important thing, I have highlighted this point because they have the phlegm cells, and phlegm cells is the first excretory organ. This is the first excretory organ. Phlegm cells also known as the protonephridia. This is also known as the protonephridia, or sometimes it is also called the solenocytes. So, if they are asking, uh, if in your NEET exam, so they will ask in like way. So, which uh, which uh, animals have the very ancient or very primitive type of the excretory organ? So, phlegm uh, phlegm cells is considered as a very primitive, very ancient or primitive type of the excretory organ. Clear. Flame cells are protonephridia or solenocytes. The basic function of the flame cells it involves in the osmoregulation and excretion. The basic function of uh, flame cells involved in the osmoregulation and excretion. So next is again the fertilization. So fertilization is the internal. Fertilization is considered as internal and development is through many larval stage. If we we'll check the larval stage in case of the fasciola, so they have the five different larval stage. First is the miracidium, second is the sporocyst, third is the uh, first is the miracidium, second is the sporocyst, third is the radia, fourth is the sarcaria, and fifth is the metasarcaria. So due to this here uh, saying, development is through many larval stages. So how many uh, larval stages? Five different larval stages found in case of uh, in case of the fasciola hepatica. So first is the miracidium, second is the sporocyst, third is the radia, fourth is the sarcaria, and fifth is the metasarcaria. And some remember, so sorry, some members like they have the uh, good regeneration capacities. They have the good regeneration capacity which is found inside the planaria. So planaria is the example considered which show the regeneration capacity. And regeneration you already studied. So there is the two different types. Uh, morpholaxis and epimorpholaxis. So morpholaxis and epimorpholaxis. We will discuss this term in the uh, 12th standard first chapter reproduction in organism. If we'll check their example, so here they have given example tinea that is the tapeworm and fasciola uh, fasciola liver fluke that is the fasciola hepatica. Clear? So now uh, we have discussed uh, today three different phylum and uh, now we uh, I'm going to finish your class. And uh, very, uh, uh, I think uh, I'm expecting with you. So you will subscribe my channel and uh, you will hit the bell icon for regular updates. So uh, thank you for class and uh, okay.